Hi guys, today I want to share with you how I transform this old and antique looking sewing machine that I found for free on Facebook Marketplace. I just want to show you the transformation that this one is going to get. So please keep watching. The first thing I did was to really wash this thing down really really well just because it was super dirty. It was free and I really wanted to transform this piece and see what it would turn out to be but it was really dirty with so many spider webs and everything in there so I just wanted to give it a good clean with uh, soap and hot water and then I'm going to let everything dry before I continue painting this piece. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome over. I like to share many projects that I do around the house ranging from Dollar Tree DIY projects, uh, trash to treasure like this one right here and furniture flips as well. Uh, so if this is something that interests you, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell notification. And if you enjoy this video as well at the end, please leave my video a thumbs up. So once I'm done cleaning this piece, I'm going to let everything dry and I'm going to start taping off the pieces that I don't want to paint. After it was all cleaned, I took some uh, screwdrivers and I took out the metal hardware that was attached to this piece. It was really stuck but I was able to remove the gold hardware that was in the front. I then took my favorite uh, electric um, spray gun and the precision uh, nozzle that comes with it and I applied um, two coats of white paint. This is just simple interior paint and I'm just going to spray it with my spray gun here. You're going to see more videos on my channel using this uh, spray gun because I love to refinish furnitures and this is something that I use often to uh, refinish furnitures. I'm then going to remove all of the painter's tape in the bottom of the legs here that I covered prior to spray painting this piece in white and I'm going to spray paint the bottom of this legs which is in metal. I'm going to spray paint them using a gold color that I really love and it's from Michaels that I get mine. I leave a link uh, to the exact same one in the description down below if ever you're interested in uh, getting a good gold spray paint make sure you go look for this one from Michaels I'll be painting the um, the hardware as well with the same gold color so this is the spray paint that I'm going to use for this project and I'm going to spray paint like I said the hardware and to spray paint the legs I'm not going to tape the top I'm just going to take a piece of paper and just wrap around the feet where I don't want the spray paint to go and then I'll be spray painting the bottom of these legs. I then took some sandpaper that you can easily find at Dollar Tree and this one happens to be a hundred grid and I'm just gonna sand some areas of this piece just to give that distressed farmhouse look that I wanted to achieve for this project so I don't want to distress it crazy but just enough for this project. I then took this piece in and I'm going to sand a little bit more and I'm going to put all of the hardware back. I have this beautiful cotton piece of fabric that really reminds me of this vintage looking print that I'm going to use for this project and cover the seat uh, that comes with this uh, sewing machine. So the, the little bench that comes with the sewing machine, I wanted to cover the top. I didn't want to remove the material that was already on top of this project just because the underneath um, condition was not great so I'm just gonna cut around uh, a piece of fabric that is enough for this project and I'm gonna staple everything in place after everything is stapled I'm just gonna trim, trim away all of the excess of the fabric and let me show you how this little stool turned out to be so this is how the the stool looks as well as the sewing machine for now. I think it looks super gorgeous compared to what it was initially. And now I'm going to use my Cricut machine to cut out a decal that I want to apply for this project. 
Before I applied the decal onto the top of the sewing machine, I just took this sandpaper and I'm slightly going to sand the top so that the decal can adhere properly. And then I'm going to use the Cricut transfer tape to transfer the decal that I just uh, cut using my Cricut machine. This exact design, I found it off uh, of a seller online. I'll try to link um, if I can find uh, her website in the description down below. But I really love this farmhouse uh, decal that she had for sale. So I bought that on her website and I'm going to use it for my project. So I'm carefully removing um, the transfer sheet and then I'm going to transfer this onto the top of this sewing machine. I really enjoy giving new life to unwanted furniture or furniture that other people uh, does not want anymore or think they need to change. I really love giving it a new look and this sewing machine is just one of my favorite and it really ties in with the farmhouse look that I wanted to get. So again let me show you how it looks before. This is how it was all old and dirty and ready to be transformed but that someone really wanted to get rid and throw it into the dump and this is how it turned out at the end i really 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 enjoy this project i hope you liked it as well if you did please let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this piece and how it turned out i'm in love with this piece i'm not going to use it as a sewing machine um, table but just as a decor piece or a side table you can also use with the mirror on top and have it like a small vanity but it's super gorgeous thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you around with more videos to come take care and stay safe